WrestleManiac, aka Blu-ray Maniac. I get a little sippity dude out of this V8 splash. What is up, everybody? Tennessee tailgate in the building. It has been almost a dead gum MF and month. Can you believe that? A month, guys. It's almost been a month. Since I've came to you guys for a video. And I apologize for that. That is my fault. Okay? I don't know what my problem was. I, I just don't know. I'm not... I, I, my phone is just doing all kinds of stuff I ain't supposed to do. But here's the deal, guys. We are back. We got 42 pickups for you guys today, 39 of which are Blu-ray. The other three, the other, the other three are DVDs. <gasps> DVDs? WrestleMania, AKA okay, Blu-ray, Maniac, AKA okay, Criterion, Maniac, okay, Level 30. Why are you buying DVDs for? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? Are you mad? The answer? Absolutely. But that's not the reason why I'm mad. I was born mad. Oh, God. All right. I love you guys, first and foremost. Sorry for the delay. I, I left my job to pursue my music full force. It's my dream. It's always been my dream. And I'm just, I feel like if I don't try it now all the way, I won't ever know. So with that being said, a lot of my time and my, my money that I have is being devoted towards my music. So I'm not spending as much on movies. But if you guys will notice, I mean, I've got, I've got way too many right now. I mean, I haven't seen half of those yet. So, it's pretty sickening. But, um, collection update coming soon. If y'all want to. y'all want me to. But anyways, we're just going to show you guys what we got here. We got eBay. We got Walmart. We got Best Buy. We got McKay's. I don't know why I'm saying it in that tone. She, 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 she. I love y'all. Thank you. I'm almost at 23... <coughs> Almost to 2,300 subscribers. I can't believe that. That's that is outrageous. That is one tabulous. W o n t a b u l o u s. One tabulous. Are y'all ready for this? My, I'm too big to be vibrating my entire house. All right, guys. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Starting off with eBay. And to start it off, this is a title that I wish I could have gotten that that special edition, but I couldn't because I didn't get there in time. They were already sold out. So I just picked up the regular version. Um, it's the Amazing Spider-Man 2 um, with the slipcover. I love that special edition of it, but it, my best buy ran out of them by the time I got there to get it. Because at the time, it was when I was still working and I didn't have time to make it. Um, haven't checked it out yet, but I've heard great things, and I've heard actually mixed reviews about it. But I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm sure I'll enjoy. Uh, I'm sure I enjoy this one too. That's the Amazing Spider-Man D. Next up is a film that I just love. Um, I only there's five of these, and I, I only have part five up until this update. But got it for six dollars, brand new off eBay, and that is the original Final Destination. Sorry for that glare there, guys. Uh, Devin Sawa, Ali Larder, Kerr Smith, Sean William Scott. Groundbreaking film to me at the time. Like There wasn't a, a horror slash thriller that had ever done what this movie did as far as the, the style. And I just thought it was really creative and cool. Um, so now I have part one and part five of those. Just got to get all the in-betweenies, you know what I mean? Final Destination part one there. Next up is a film that I've never seen, but uh, it's starring my favorite actor of all time, Robert De Niro. Got it for six dollars off eBay, brand new. It's also starring Cuba Gooding Jr. and that is Men of Honor. Um, heard nothing but good things about it. This is one of those early Blu-ray releases. You can tell by the behind, beyond high definition. But um, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know what I mean? Got commentary with um, actors and directors and writers. Um, so looking forward to this. This was this movie was from 2000. So it's Men of Honor. Y'all be sure to comment below on your thoughts on all these pickups, too. Next up is a movie that is also an early Blu-ray. Um, 
also came out in 2000, starring Tom Hanks, and that's Castaway. I got this for $6, brand new, off eBay there. Wilson! I cannot imagine how many Wilson volleyballs they sold after this movie came out. Great product placement, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's Castaway. Hate the ending, but you know what? We can't always have a fairy tale ending, okay? Sorry if that was a spoiler alert. I didn't tell you anything other than... Okay, moving on. We've got two films, one of which I've seen, one of which I haven't. Um, this first one is the 1961 film starring Gregory Peck, Robert Mitchum, and Polly Bergen. And I've heard nothing but great things about this one as well, and that's Cape Fear. Um, sorry for that glare, guys. It's because it's underneath that lamp, probably. Um, just heard great things about it, guys. It's got a making of featurette on here. Um, heard it looks good on Blu-ray as well. So really glad to pick that up. It was like nine bucks brand new on eBay. I think I got all these from the same seller. It was like Blow It Out of Here or one of those big, huge uh, movie sellers on eBay. The next one is a remake of that one, and that is Cape Fear, the remake there. You got starring uh, Robert De Niro, Nick Nolte, Jessica Lange. And uh, shout out to Minus the Beard. Um, he told he said this in one of his first updates when he picked this up. At the bottom it says from the creator from the director of The Departed. And I was like, why did they pick Departed out of all of Scorsese's films? But then this movie, this Blu-ray was was released in 2011 and I'm assuming that's around the time The Departed was big, so they were probably trying to draw people in that way, I guess, but definitely Departed is not his best film to me. I mean, of course Casino is, but anyways, Great, great thriller. Again, starring the homeboy, my favorite actor, Robert De Niro. That's Cape Fear, the remake. And that is my pickups from eBay there. So we're going to move on along here to Best Buy. They had an outstanding 3 for 20 sale a couple weeks back. I know they're doing a 3 for 15 sale right now, but it's great of a deal as it is. I have 90% of those films already, and I ended up paying more for them months ago. So... But I ended up getting a lot. I did the three for twenty. I did. I did it three times. So it was sixty bucks. I got um, nine films, and then this one. Um, oh yeah, this one I actually ordered off BestBuy.com because it was sold out everywhere. Amazon was out of it, and it's by far the best documentary WWE's put out this year to me. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. To me, Triple H's was my favorite. Um, and then Mick Foley's, but this one is, is number one. Triple H would be two, and Foley would be three for the documentaries this year. But um, just absolutely loved this documentary. It was two hours long. Thought it did a really good job of detailing everything, but not going too deep into detail. You know what I mean? Because you've got to keep a time limit too. But it had over two hours of bonus stories, guys, which I thought was awesome. It's even got his new promo um, after when him and Lesnar came down after Met WrestleMania. That awesome promo he, he cut the night after WrestleMania, which was great. But it's got tons of his promos from all of the time, his management, you know, and, and everywhere. All from the beginning of his career to the to, to up to date. So you got to get this, guys, if you haven't already, check it out. It's ladies and gentlemen, Paul Heyman. And this is the only title that Best Buy picked up that wasn't the 3 for 20. It was in the 799 bin. And that's Christopher Nolan's uh, Insomnia, starring the late Robin Williams. Rest in peace. I, I still messed up about that, kind of. Uh, uh, Al Pacino and Hilary Swank. Pacino's my number two favorite actor. I'm going to tell you one thing that grinds my gears about the whole Robin Williams situation. Why is it that as good of an actor as Robin Williams was, and this same thing goes for Philip Seymour Hoffman, nobody really talked about him. You never really could find a lot of their films out anywhere. And then they, and then somebody dies, and then all of a sudden, Best Buy is carrying like six of his titles that they never carried before. Like they never carried Jumanji hardly, or Hook, or RV, or Awakenings, or any of those. Like I can never find them in my Best Buy. And now he passes away, and now all of a sudden they're dumping them all in the 7.99 bins. It sucks that our, our, our it's the way the world is, you know. But that's just kind of how it is. People are do more after they die. It seems like when they're in the entertainment industry but Insomnia is a good movie it, I wouldn't say it's a great movie it's very slow at parts um, but I still enjoy it and, and Pacino's my second favorite actor like I said and um, Robin Williams does a great job in this movie and I enjoy it it's not in my top five Nolan films 
but I still really enjoy it. That's Insomnia. Now these next nine are going to be the three for 20, and this was just such a good deal. First and foremost, we're going to show you this one. Taxi Driver, that awesome digipack. I can't believe this is only $9.99. And then you got it three for 20, so it was like $6.67 or something, which is just crazy. This is such a cool digipack. Um, you guys have seen it. I don't want to drop everything else. But again, directed by my favorite director, Scorsese. Starring my favorite actor, Robert De Niro. Travis Bickle. Look at him. If you haven't seen this movie, go watch it. Now! Moving along, we've got another great film, Tarantino. Got this slipcover from uh, my homegirl Kimberly months ago. And I just was waiting for a good price to come on the movie so I could pick it up. And that's Inglorious Bastards. And I picked it up at Best Buy, so I got the exclusive interview with Quentin Tarantino, which was cool. Um, such a great movie. Brad Pitt's performance is amazing. So is Christoph Waltz. Just a great Tarantino flick. And that's uh, Glorious Bastards. Next up is another movie that I've been meaning to get for months. I was just trying to find the right price. Never seen it. But I've heard nothing but good things about it, starring... Gene Reno, Gary Oldman, and Natalie Portman, and that is Leon the Professional. Another, again, all these are three for twenty, guys. You just, it couldn't beat that. I mean, her, it's got the um, unedited ver or theatrical and extended versions of the film, and the extended version is like thirty minutes longer. So, can't wait to check this out. Heard nothing but good things about it. Again, that's Leon the Professional. Next up is a Denzel flick who's he's my third favorite actor, so I'm trying to get all his movies. And um, this is one I've never seen. I'm trying to get, collect all the war movies that I can. It's Matthew Broderick, Denzel Washington, Carrie Elwes, and Morgan Freeman in Glory. Um, just another movie that I've been meaning to pick up. Just wanted to find it at the right price point. And three for 20 is as good as it gets, pretty much. And the next one is another war film that I've never seen. Um, it came out right at the time I started collecting Blu-rays, and the price of it was always like around twenty-five or thirty bucks. So I never paid, a, you know, tried to get it. And then it was just one of those I always told myself I would grab if I found it at a good price. That's Zero Dark Thirty. Again, I haven't seen it, but I've heard, I've heard mixed reviews about it. But I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy it, and especially for three for twenty. So Zero Dark Thirty. Next up is another one that I've picked up numerous times at Walmart in the ten-dollar section and put it back. Um, and I'm glad I did because I got it for you know cheaper than that. And that's the two disc remake of Total Recall with Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale, and Jessica Biel. Love the original with Arnie. It's not going to be able to top that to me, but I'm sure that I'll enjoy it. Again, it's got theatrical and extended cuts on it too. So it's Total Recall, the remake. And the last three are three more great ones that I've been wanting. And it's The Raid Redemption. Um, heard it's just nonstop action. So glad to pick it up. Um, the Raid 2, I definitely want to get. I just want to wait till it goes down a little bit more. I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks now, but I'll probably just wait till it goes into this little section. But um, yeah, music by Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park. That's always a plus. So it's the Raid Redemption. And this next one is a film that I've heard good things about. It's directed by the Coen Brothers. Um, and it's Inside Lewin, Dav Lewin Davis. Sorry, I think I said that right. <laughs> Um, Oscar Isaac, Kerry Mulligan, John Goodman, uh, Garrett Hedlund, and Justin Timberlake. And me being a mu well, I'm not a musician. I I'm a hip hop artist. So I don't play any instruments, but I I can I always love these kind of movies because it's you know I'm music's my dream too. So it's always good to see these kind of films. And I've heard great things about it, so I had to pick it up. And last but not least is a Spike Lee film that I watched the other night and I loved it. Really dark movie. Really weird, really dark. Starring Josh Brolin, Elizabeth Olsen, and uh, Charlto Copley, as well as uh, Sammy Jack, Samuel Jackson. That's Old Boy. Uh, I believe this is a remake as well. It's a very, very good film, guys. Very dark, but Josh Brolin is a B A D A W -S, S. Shout out to Billy Gunn. But he is, man. That's Old Boy. Oh, boy. All right. These next ones I just picked up at recently at McKay's, and let me show you these deals that I got. McKay's is, I haven't been to McKay's in a couple of months, and I'm so glad that I went because I got some great deals. Check this out. The Digibook of Matrix. 
perfect condition. 1095 guys. Outstanding price. Um, I just gave my, my regular copy of the Matrix to my brother, you know, because he's starting to collect Blu-rays now. So 1095, I couldn't beat that price, guys. On Amazon, it's probably close to 20, maybe. But it's in like damn near perfect shape. Like there's no bends on the corners or anything. So really glad to pick that up. I love this movie. That's the Matrix. Next up is a steel book. Um, already on this film too, but I gave the regular Amaray Blu-ray to my brother. That's 300. Steel book, 595 guys. Again, great shape, no dents, no scrape. Uh, there's a little ding on the back, but five dollars, I am not mad at that, guys. Disc was in great shape. And another steel book that I picked up. I've heard this movie's bad, but I love these real hero steel books. I just love them. And anytime I find one less than ten dollars, I'm gonna pick it up. And another one that's just in great shape, no dings, and that's Doom starring the rock. I know, I know, I heard it's not good, but it's worth five dollars to me. You know what I mean? Even if I watch it once and I'm not a fan of it, just for the simple fact of it being this awesome the real hero still book. So that's Doom. And the deals just kept going at McKay's. They've, they've lowered a lot of prices on their blues. And this is one that I've been meaning to pick up. I almost picked it up at um, Best Buy several times, but I just waited and got it for $4.95. And that's Bad Teacher, starring Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, and Jason Siegel. I've heard this movie's hilarious, and I like all three of those actors and that actress there. So it's Bad Teacher. It's the unrated Blu-ray DVD combo de doo da there for you. Next up is another one that's, um, and I think it's unrated. It's a comedy. I, I think this movie's hilarious, too. It was one of those I picked up several times at um, Walmart 788 bin. I just never picked it up for 788. Figured I could get it cheaper, and I got it for 395 and that's Hall Pass. This is the enlarged edition, which I'm assuming is just, includes theatrical version plus extra extended version. So, there you go. Jason Sudeikis and Owen Wilson. So, really good movie. The next one is another one I wanted to pick up for a while. Um, you know, I've just, uh, I own the first one, and I'd like to get the, the still books later if I find them, but Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, 595. Of course, Robert Downey and Jude Law, great film. So, glad to pick that up, so now I own both of those. And this next one is another Final Destination movie, and it trips me out because it says it's the Final Destination, but this was part four. Makes no sense, but Final Destination 4, $2.95, and it even includes the uh, the 3D glasses, which I won't need, but it's three bucks, guys. I can't beat that. Another one that was only $2.95, hilarious movie, starred Vince Vaughn. Um, oh, it's got my boy Jason Bateman. It's got Faison Love, Kristen Davis, uh, John Favreau, that's Couples Retreat. This movie's hilarious, guys. If you haven't seen it, definitely worth three bucks, guys. Glad to pick it up. And this one here has not even been opened. Brand new sealed. And the last time I went into McKay's, this was $10.95 a couple months ago. Now it's been dropped down to $6.95. And that is Flight, starring Denzel Washington. Again, trying to get all of his films and so glad I waited on this one because it's seven bucks brand new. It's going to have the uh, ultraviolet in there as well. So, And last but not least from McKay's, a movie that I've always loved. A great thriller to me. One of my favorite thrillers ever. Nobody ever talks about it though. And I just think it's great. And that's Stir of Echoes starring Kevin Bacon. Two ninety five guys. If you haven't checked that movie out, definitely look at it. It's, it's, a, it's a great film and you can find it cheap online. But two ninety five, I couldn't pass that out there. So, McKay's definitely gets the WrestleManiac uh, seal of approval. I also picked my brother up a few. I picked him up for getting Sarah Marshall for $5. Um, Get Him to the Greek was $5. Hangover 1 and 2 was 3 bucks a piece. You know what I mean? So, that was just a great... Uh, I just traded in some old stuff, CDs and stuff that I had laying around. Um, so, yeah. And we're going to move on to the last portion, which is going to be the Walmart pickups. But before we even start the rest of the Walmart pickups, I'm going to show you the three DVDs. <gasps> yep, DVDs, guys. But you know what? I'm not all the way done with DVDs because some of them don't come out on Blu-ray yet or something. I don't know. First up, this is on Netflix. I suggest y'all check it out. It's, it's good. 
it's it's dubbed though. I don't know if it's if it's German or you know it's dubbed in English, but it's not. They're not speaking English. It doesn't say exactly what it is, but it's Blood Glacier. Just a good cheesy horror film. It's kind of like a cross between Alien and The Thing. Not near as good, obviously those classics, but that's kind of what the monsters are. They're out in the you know in the Arctic and they encounter these. And I thought it was good, man. I thought it was like seven bucks at Walmart, eight bucks, but. It was a good pickup, I think. It's on Netflix, Instant Watch, if you guys want to check it out. Next up is another one that I picked up, and I really did enjoy this one. It's a, it's They say it's Clerks Meet Scream. Uh, ScareTissue.com is what that said, and I can totally see that. It's like a hip uh, horror movie. It's low budget, so like the kill scenes and the fight scenes are kind of cheap looking, but the dialogue was on point. That Sanctuary, quite a conundrum. I'm not going to tell you the plot, but I just look it up, guys. It's a good movie. I don't think it's on Netflix, but it's at Walmart for like 10 bucks, And I don't think it's on Blu-ray in the U.S. So definitely suggest y'all picking this up. It's a really hip uh, horror movie and definitely one I'm glad that I picked up. So that's Sanctuary. And this next horror movie I'm fixing to show you guys is Outstanding. I watched it twice on Netflix, and then I was in Walmart one day, and I saw it on DVD, and I was like, I got to get it. And that is The Den. Um, outstanding movie. It's basically about a, a girl. Um, she gets a grant to do her graduate thesis, and she logs onto a video chat site known as the, I'm kind of paraphrasing the back known as the Den on a mission to explore the habits of the users on it. Basically, she witnesses a murder on there, and everything goes bad from there. But it is awesome. It's like a found footage film, but the found footage is on webcam so it's like live feeling you know what I mean outstanding movie guys check it out on Netflix I loved it I thought it was very 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 good and that's the den very creepy too and here we go we're fixing to start out with the rest of the pickups from Walmart here this is another one that was absolutely terrifying to me um, 16 bucks but I sold the code for four so I got it for 12 that's the possession of Michael King new release, I think it came out last week or the week before. Basically he's an atheist and he's doing a documentary to try to prove to people to see if it's real, if, if devil spirits are real and, and, and you know stuff like that. So he goes and gets all this satanic stuff and tries to summons these demons and you already know what happens but it's done so well it really scared me. Like, I don't get scared in movies, like I, I jump, and I, but this one freaked me out. And that's the possession of Michael King. Y'all check that out if you hadn't already. These next few were, for some reason, you know, Walmart's got the 788 bin, but then it's got a five dollar DVD bin. There's a bunch of Blu-rays thrown in it. I don't know if it's stuff from previous Blu-ray sales. I think it is, but I picked three of those up, and that's the Source Code with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, really good, solid movie. Um, kind of a mind freak movie but for five bucks definitely worth that this next one I haven't seen but I'm a big Russell Crowe fan that's the next three days heard it's a great um, action thriller so had to pick that up for five bucks and last but not least on the five dollar section you got Van Damme and the replicant can you believe that look at that cheese trying to get all of Van Damio's movies and gotta pick up replicant now all the rest of these were all 788ers. We're gonna go right through them. You got Sleepy Hollow, starring Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, directed by Tim Burton. Watched it the other day. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Really creepy film. All these came with codes, so I ended up paying about five a piece for these after I sold the codes. You got Face Off, starring Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Classic cheese right there. Take his face off. Nicolas Cage is horrible in some movies, but he's horribly good. Next up, we got a two packety doodah um, of rock and roll and swordfish. Haven't seen either movie, but for seven eighty eight, couldn't beat that deal. And this next movie, everybody is cracking on Robert De Niro for his films he's been doing the last few years, Righteous Kill and and this one and a few others. But I really enjoyed this one, and it's Freelancers. It's Robert De Niro, Fifty Cent, Curtis Jackson, and Forrest Whitaker. And as much as I wanted to hate Fifty Cent. He's not a bad actor. He's really he's not good, good, but he's not bad. He's better than a lot of people that are that are actors. He's just a, a, an artist that became that wanted to do acting. So 
I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was a good cop action film. I mean, nothing spectacular, but next up we got a 2011 Steven Seagal film that I've never heard of, and it looks terribly awesome. That is Born to Raise Hell. Look at Steven Seagal in that picture. This is fat Steven Seagal, too, so it's going to be even better. And this next one is what my brother said was good, told me to pick it up, and it's the extended cut of Project X. I'm sure I'll like it for what it is. I haven't watched it yet. But... And last but not least, to round out the movies, we've got, I'm trying to get my westerns up, and you can't, you got to get westerns. You're going to get westerns, you got to go with John Wayne. That's Hondo. Watched this the other day, and I loved it. I thought it was just a great classic western film, and it was just randomly in the 788 bin, so I had to pick it up. So that's it guys, 42 pickups, 39 DVDs, or 39 Blu-rays, 3 DVDs, <gasps> every time I do DVDs, I'm, uh, duh, 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 duh. I love each and every one of you guys, okay, let's get that out in the open, I already tell y'all that on a, on, a, on a regular basis, but I want y'all to know I love you, you know, because y'all show nothing but support to me, and I apologize for my absence, but in October, I'm going to try to do another video this month, but in October, 31 days of horror, we're doing it. 31 days, at least 31 films. I might try to do two a day. We'll just see how things go. I'm gonna give if y'all want me to do reviews on each day, let's do it. Let's get it going. And I want to see that from you guys if you got time. If not, I understand. But below, subscribe to the Visual Maniacs, even though we haven't put out a video in forever. It'll happen eventually. Go back and watch the old ones. They're good. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm also, I'm also this month, I'm gonna do a shout out mania episode where I give shout outs to 10 uh, kind of what Jordan was doing back in the day I'm gonna give a shout out to several channels I don't know how many that I've been watching that I think you guys should subscribe to there's there's a lot there's at least five that I want to get you guys up on game if you hadn't already so thank you so much we're almost at 2300 subscribers guys so tell your people come on over to WrestleMania aka Blue Ray Maniac 1130 channel and just have a good time. Watch watch some stupid, idiotic guy with that's slightly overweight with a lot of hair on top of his head and just being stupid, but having a good time and loving movies and wrestling, just like I love you guys. Thank you so much. Love, peace, and hair grease. Whamma, damma, ding dong.